Hello, today I'm going to show you how to roll out the pieces to get started on your clay bobblehead. First of all, you need a clay mat to roll out your clay. Because you will be getting a big chunk of clay, and if you were just to roll it out on the table, if I press this down, roll it with the rolling pin, since this table is non-porous, that means it can't soak in water or any sort of liquid. What happens to the clay is that, that it likes to stick to non-porous surfaces. So if you rolled out clay on the surface of the table, it would be really, really hard to peel it off and it wouldn't look the best. If you have a porous surface like this piece of fabric or canvas and you press the clay down, it easily peels off. And that's why we want to use our canvas mats. It also helps keep the table a little bit cleaner. That's a bonus. But one thing to keep in mind is that this dry clay on the mat is not safe to breathe if it is in the air. So we don't want to be clapping our dry hands together with the clay dust. We don't want to be whipping these mats around because it really isn't that safe to breathe. Since you're only working on it for a short amount of time, it will not affect you, but professional potters will wear masks to keep their lungs healthy because they're around clay dust over eight hours a day for a lot of their life. After you have your clay mat, there's a few more things you need. You need these wooden sticks or wooden dowels, and you need a rolling pin. The dowels help keep the clay an even thickness. If I were to roll with the rolling pin, Without having the dowels, I might have areas that are way, way too thin and too fragile, and I might have parts that are too thick. So you'll be working with a partner or in groups of three to help each other roll out their pieces of clay. Make sure the rolling pin is above both of the dowels and start in the middle. It does take a lot of pressure, so you can stand up and just carefully roll back and forth until the wooden rolling pin rolls against the two wooden sticks. And it does take time. You can trade off with your partner because it takes a lot of muscle. The goal is to have a thin, even slab of clay. Once you roll that out, then you are going to take your paper cone template to make the body for your bobblehead. I'm going to roll this a little bit more. If I can press the rolling pin down, and if I see a little divot here, that means you didn't roll enough, so I'm almost there. And if you see little air bubbles, you can just blend those out with your finger. All right, now we are ready to cut out our cone shapes. You'll take your cone template. I have, I'll have a few of these floating around and place it on your clay. Now you might be able to fit two for your partner. If not, just cut out one and then you can get a new piece of clay to roll it out. If you would like to make a mini bobblehead, you can make it smaller. If you want to adjust it and cut it smaller, you can do that. If you think you want to kind of do your own thing for the body, you can. You don't have to use the cone shape. It is helpful, and it's the fastest way to make a body for your bobblehead. But you don't have to. You saw some examples where it's mainly, well, just pinch pots or thin pieces of clay that are hollowed out. But the key is to make sure that you don't have any pieces of clay that are too thick. So I'll place this on here. And now I'm ready to cut around carefully. Hold the tool pretty far down, otherwise it's going to break the wooden stick. And you can put extra clay away. And cut around your clay. Peel the extra clay away. 
This extra clay you can either give, like I said, give it to your partner or you can roll it into a ball for the next step. So now we have our flat slab of clay that will be made into a cone. This next step you must do today while the clay is still plastic, where it's still wet and very flexible. You're gonna carefully curl it around. And if you see cracks starting to form, that's okay. You're gonna curl it around and you're gonna have, I kind of push my palms, the bottom of my palms in and my fingertips in too. You'll see that these two pieces of clay come together we need to attach those pieces. What do we do if we want to attach pieces of clay together? We need to score and slip. What we need to do, if you remember from other projects, we need to make score marks in the clay. And then we add water, which dissolves the clay and creates liquid clay, which is slip. The messier it looks, on the two pieces, the better it will hold. By the way, if you only have time to roll your cone and you don't have time to score and slip today, that's okay, but you must roll it into a cone shape and then next time you can score and slip it together. But I'm gonna score and slip it now just by taking the water, dripping bits of water on it. And you should have your water cup ready to go as well. And then you can press it together. The trick is not collapsing your cone, but just gently pressing it in and pressing it together. So I'm pressing it from the sides mainly, and I'm just gently rubbing the score marks. I'm gonna dip my finger in the water and rub out any cracks. That's the wonderful thing about clay is that if you have cracks in it, it's an easy fix. It is not ruined. You can see the bottom here. I can rub the seam through the inside and that looks very nice as well. And I have a nice cone shape. That is the first step for making your the body for your bobblehead. After you do that, the next step is making a head that will balance on top. You will get a small ball of clay and you must make a pinch pot because that's the shape that will fit on the clay the best. You can roll it into a ball either in the palm of your hand, you can roll it on the clay mat, you can just kind of pound it into shape, into the shape you want. And then what you need to do is stick your thumb in the middle and you will carefully pinch, squeeze your thumb and fingers together, and you will pinch the head of your bobblehead. I keep it in the palm of my other hand so I maintain this round top of the head part. And then what you'll do is when you test it to see if it fits on the top of your cone, it will not bobble very well because the clay is wet and it's sticky. So what you can do is just test it gently by holding it on there and you can see we have a head that will bobble. It fits on there and it bobbles nicely. And you can see we have a head and a body. So the next step then is to add details by either subtractive design or additive design. Have fun.